Fuzzy and adorable Tibetan Mastiff puppies grow into strong, determined, and sizable dogs, resembling lions or even Tibetan bears. This ancient breed's history is somewhat mysterious, but we do know that they were bred to defend herds, monasteries, and palaces in the Himalayas. The breed is thought to be the ancestor of modern Mastiff breeds. Years of selective breeding have eroded some of the original characteristics of the Tibetan Mastiff, introducing new colors and more mass. Intelligent and willful, this breed learns new skills with ease but only when he's in the mood. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Appearance. The Tibetan Mastiff's defining features are his lion-like mane and massive stature. Full-grown females can be 24 inches or more at the shoulder, and male Tibetan Mastiffs can be 26 inches at the shoulder. Females weigh 70 to 120 pounds and males weigh 90 to 150 pounds. With their large size and furry mane, a Tibetan Mastiff is almost lion-like. The breed's thick double coat can be black, brown, blue-gray, red, or gold. Sometimes they have markings around the eyes, muzzle, throat, legs, and tail that vary from silver to mahogany. The outer texture of that coat is thick and coarse, while the inner texture is soft and wool-like. The Tibetan Mastiff requires little grooming, except during the annual spring to summer shedding, or coat blowing season, when hair will be everywhere. Temperament. Tibetan Mastiffs are best suited for owners with dog training experience and patience. Chambliss describes the Tibetan Mastiff temperament as aloof, independent, willful, and highly intelligent. They do not look to their people for direction, which is an issue for many people, Chambliss says. They are guardians of people and property, and can take that job very seriously. The Tibetan Mastiff's thick fur keeps him warm on the coldest winter days. But, as with any breed, never leave your dog outside in extreme weather for long. Even with proper obedience lessons which are necessary for all breeds Tibetan Mastiffs will still do what they feel like doing. Their smarts may mean they perform perfectly in a class setting, but their independent streak may show at home when they ignore those same commands. Living Needs Give Tibetan Mastiffs a yard to roam and protect and they'll be pleased they usually don't mind spending time alone. Though, that yard must be fenced in. A traditional, secure fence is an absolute must-have. Tibetan Mastiffs will wander, Chambliss says. These dogs are known escape artists and may learn to open a door or gate by watching a human do it. They're just that clever, because of their sneaky tendencies, it's important to microchip your Tibetan Mastiff. Breeders say that the Tibetan Mastiff may be quiet during the day, but he has a tendency to bark at night. Tibetan Mastiffs are very vocal and have a deep bark that carries, Chambliss says. Keeping them inside prevents issues with neighbors. But take note. A crate is not an acceptable option for these dogs. Their instinct is to watch over their home, and caging them keeps them from doing so. This can lead to anxiety and undesirable behaviors. Care. Moderate exercise, in the form of regular walks, is necessary for the physical and mental health of Tibetan Mastiffs they have a tendency to become obese. Because these dogs can be willful, their walks should always be leashed. When training the Tibetan Mastiff, it's important to be positive and never punitive. Training a Tibetan Mastiff must be done with positive reinforcement only, Chambliss says. She says this clever breed learns directly by watching and experiencing life, 
So being positive and patient will teach them to behave in kind. Health. A Tibetan Mastiff's lifespan is 10 to 12 years. The breed is considered to be fairly healthy, although they can be prone to certain health issues that commonly impact large dogs. Elbow and hip dysplasia. This occurs when a dog's joint doesn't develop properly, resulting in a loose, unstable joint. This can cause permanent damage, including degenerative joint disease. Hypothyroidism is a condition that can cause weight gain, excessive shedding, intolerance to cold, and lethargy. It requires lifelong treatment. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.